Hi guys, this is uh, Carolina Varsity 2015. We're going into week nine. Uh, I'm Dale Ross, and we're going to take a look at Jeff's best to last. And I'm Jeff Miller. All right, then we're going to go ahead and do last first. Um, last in Gaston County is, this is no mystery right here, Highland Tech. Um, I hope you guys can get a win in the near future. Um, but, uh, um, good, good luck the rest of the way. Now, above them is, uh, Cherville. Um, I, I'm really surprised at how bad they have struggled this year. I think they are 0-7 now, and, uh, <clears throat> now, I don't know why, uh, I don't know how they have fallen so far, but, uh, now Cherville, Greater days are ahead, but uh, right now I just have you guys placed above Highland Tech, and I think y'all play each other this coming week. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, um, and I think Cherville will walk out of that one. Any one of y'all want to play Garinger? Um, and uh, then above them is Mountain Island Charter. Um, you know, that one will never get settled because. Uh, Mountain Island Charter and Cherville do not play each other this year, despite being in the same conference due to, you know, some sort of scheduling conflict. So, um, but because Mountain Island Charter has scored more points than Cherville and probably had an easier, you know, schedule in Cherville, I put Mountain Island Charter above them. Then not doing too much better themselves with two wins is Bessemer City. I put Bessemer City above Mountain Island Charter because, you know, they beat Mountain Island Charter head-to-head -head on the second week of the season. But uh, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's the main reason why I have Bessemer City ahead of them. Then above Bessemer City, you know, and it's a tight race between these three because there's already been head-to-head -head matchups. But I went ahead and put North Gaston just uh, above Bessemer City in Gaston County. Um, you know, North Gaston has, you know, they beat Ashbrook, and uh, which was a shocker. But then they went right back down to earth against uh, Forest U Friday night. And uh, above North Gaston, you know, like I said, this is a tight race between them two. Stuart Kramer. Um, they play each other this coming Friday at Stuart Kramer. And... Uh, you know, that, that one's a tough tough one to call. I mean, I figure Stuart Kramer, they, they're they running some running high on some momentum after beating uh, Lake Norman Charter. But that one could go either way. Then Hunter Huss put them above North Gaston and uh, um, Stuart Kramer. Now, it's been a rough year for them, too. I mean, football in Gaston County has kind of had a down year, if you ask me. And above... Hunter Huss is Ashbrook. You know, Jekyll and Hyde Ashbrook. You know, hot one week, cold the next week. Well, in this case, against South Point, they were cold one half then, started to get hot the second half, but still fell short. Mm -hmm. And above them is East Gaston, and that's another um, score that's going to get settled this coming Friday as East Gaston travels to Ashbrook. Right now, East Gaston is a little bit more consistent than Ashbrook, and that's why I put them at third, just above Ashbrook. Then getting into the top two, which will be settled this Friday, as I said in another video. Right. I put Forest View at number two. You know, based on their record and you know how they have fared against a strong competition. Um, you know, Forest View's gotten better. As the year has progressed, I mean they've, uh, you know, they've went through some uh, rocky times, like players getting injured and out for the season, and uh, but they've actually pulled together quite well. Very impressed with them. Mm -hmm. And South Point is my number one team. Now, of course, you can prove otherwise Sunday or not Sunday. I'm thinking NFL now. Friday, they can prove. Friday, got my NFL mindset on. Sorry, forgive me, crowd, but bear with me. Um, <clears throat> but until.
until somebody can consistently knock off South Point, you know, they they stay up there at the number one chart. Force you beat them last year and took the conference title outright for the first time in school history, but uh, we'll see how that goes this coming Friday. Hope everybody enjoys. Hey, there we go. Thanks for watching.